expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. Welcome, we're live here at Dr. Kermit T. Tower Gymnasium for our first edition of Senator Sports Talk as uh, we welcome you to our show tonight. This is gonna be something we're trying to get started here at West Washington along with our live stream program and our uh, broadcast on WWSR. And joining me tonight, Senator uh, Head Coach for the ladies here, Kristen Messmore, uh, with us tonight and Coach, I uh, was able to watch your team for the first time last night, a big win over Christian Academy, a sectional opponent, and uh, a team that uh, that you're familiar with from, from last season as well, but a big win for your Lady Senators last night. Yeah, we were, well, first of all, we were glad to be home. Right. <laughs> we had, we've been on the road, and um, we've traveled all over the place, and um, so we were happy to be home with the girls, and I think um, you could see the excitement with them before yes. the game started. Boy, they were out here. I was really proud of them. They were, you know, they were wanting to get in here and shoot around before the game. And, Absolutely. And um, um, I, I think they handled it well, and I think they had a, a, a great first appearance here, and, and um, it was an exciting game. Yeah, absolutely. It was a good crowd here, too, for a Tuesday night game, and it was good to see the people come out and support the Lady Senators that, the way they have. But you're off to a great start here, 4-1 and one already here in the early part of the season. and. Had some good victories. I know you had a tight game down at South Central, uh, another team that's also a sectional opponent as well, or could be uh, yes. down the road. But uh, good to start off four and one. And uh, you know, I thought that the girls played really well last night. Uh, you've got a got a good, well balanced team, and uh, get some a lot of contribution from a lot of different kids right now. And that we're still early. And the yeah. one thing I keep telling the girls right now is. I'm playing 10 players, right. which as anybody who's coached before, that's hard sure. uh, to make sure you, you keep your momentum going. And, you know, every game, it seems like someone else has stepped up. Um, I, that's one thing I've been really proud of. Um, you know, we've had different leading scores. We've had different leading rebounders. Um, in the South Central game, we had our little freshman Macy come in and she right. hits free throws and, and won a force. Um, so, and then last night here on our home court, which I thought was kind of fitting, Shelby, yes, with her had a senior game. Uh, first game here back as a senior, and she had a career high, 16 points. Um, she, you know, it, it, so it seems like we're, we're getting different people, but I'm not set yet on where, you know, and, and I'm, I don't think, I, I don't know if right. I will be. I think I've got players um, that can play different spots. I have um, players that we're still learning. Um, what is the best fit for them? Um, but it, it's so far, it's been a fun year, and um, the girls are, it's a good problem, but the girls are making it real hard on me because they're all working really hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they did, and I thought all of the girls that played last night came in and, and done a great job in the game, contributed in their own individual way, and I know you've got 
some some new ones there, like you mentioned, the, the freshmen, and then you've got some girls that didn't play last year that right. decided to come in and play, and and uh, they all done a great job contributing in that big win last night. Right. It's it's been you know we told the girls at halftime yesterday. Um, play and don't let us have the ability to take you out because you're doing so much right. and actually in our last two games white river valley and then the christian academy both of our second halves the girls played so hard and so well um and you know it's hard to this early in the game to be in game shape right and they are playing their hearts out and you know i told them if, if you're contributing so much i can't take you out yeah and we've had different girls stepping up and and like i said doing that and um, you know, it's it's making a hard on a coach here because I'm, you know, I, you know, I I see sitting on my bench, I see good players, right? And, uh, um, but you know, at the time of what we're needing, are we needing somebody underneath? Are we needing a ball handler? Are we needing somebody to apply some pressure on defense? And that's another thing we've taken some girls in different situations and tried to, you know, really, you know, we've got to concentrate on a strong player on the other team. And and I really feel like this year I have some depth that I am able to. You know, you've got her here for two minutes stretch. Now you've got her for two right. minutes. Now you've got her switch in and, and out of yeah. the different looks. Yeah. So I feel like it's given me some options. Um, the other thing, I feel like I've got some options. Do I want to go a little bigger? Do I want to go a little quicker? Um, so the girls and how hard they've worked, I feel like um, it's really given us coaches some some things to look at. And absolutely, and and we I, can have different looks on our team. I really felt like the press there last night. That when you said it early, it kind of give uh, Christian Academy a, a little bit of problems. They were having some problems getting the ball up the floor and able to turn them over a little bit, uh, and that resulted in some points for your team. But I thought the girls did a really good job with that. And, you know, like you said, early on, sometimes you're not in true basketball right. shape. And uh, But the, I thought the girls really done a nice job with that last night and uh, turned them over early and got a little lead. And, and played really well down the stretch. Right. No, I was. We started out in the press, and um, I've got some. I've got some long arm girls, yes. some athletic girls. Yes. You and do. Uh, if I can get them placed in the right spots and get the right lineup in there, and uh, but then sometimes I feel like we can go a lot quicker if we need the quickness. So um, we we did stay at that press in the first half. Um, the second half, we decided just to go a strong half court man. Right. And I told the girls, uh, so we were up 13 and a half, and I told the girls I wanted to be that by the end of the game. So um, we needed to double that. Right. And we did bear, we, we had 25 at points, and yeah. uh, Lena Schmidt um, hit a jumper right at the she end yeah. to put us up 28. So we hit what, what we talked about at halftime, because um, I didn't want them to let up. I don't want them, you know, we're up. That's one thing yes. I think we've got to learn. If we're up by. 10, 15 points, don't be satisfied. Can't relax. Yeah, you cannot, yeah. you can't do that. And I felt like there was a few times last year we, we let some slip away from yes. us. And um, I really want to work on this year that we don't let those games slip away from us that, that you know, it's it's a good even matchup. And, and I want to make sure that, that we're getting the wins out of those tight games. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we talked about the girls a little bit and how they've played so far, 4-1 on the year. Big game coming up here Saturday night uh, against Lanesville, the defending state uh, champion in Class 1A. So, you know, I, I know I don't know too much about Lanesville's team as far as I know they're undefeated right now, but uh, should be a great matchup here uh, on Saturday night. And we definitely need a big crowd here yes, to support the girls and, and give them the support that they need to, to uh, play a team like Lanesville. But, uh, I know that's got to be exciting for you and your girls. And I know you've played in a lot of big games throughout your playing career, and right. not only high school at Bedford, but also in your college days. But, uh, you know, this this is a big game, and it could be a, one of those games that uh, could really uh, put your girls over the top, you know, if they can play with Lanesville. I know Lanesville kind of uh, put it to you a little bit last year, yes. so I know the girls may be looking for a little revenge there. Well, we went there last year. Of course, last year I had no seniors. Right. We were on their home court, and I tell you what, my girls walked in there, and I could tell from the moment we walked Shell in, shocked. they were scared. <laughs> they were. But yeah. this year, I think I think it, it has just been this year a whole total different feel. Right. I think the girls, you know, we understand each other better. We we know each other. Yeah. We had the summer this year. Um, we did a lot. You know, we we did a lot this summer. We went to D1. We had a tournament here. We went to a tournament in Charlestown. And, um, 
So I think they have a much, they're much more confident. Um, and of course, everybody has a year of some experience. Yes. Um, we went in there last year just, you know, like I said, we didn't have, last year we struggled with the leadership with no seniors. Yeah. Um, but I feel like, you know, we've watched, I just keep watching game film on, on Lanesville. Um, they've got the Crozier girl, who's, who's she's tough. She's I good. mean, she is, she's leading every category they have. I think she's, she's averaging about uh, 18 points a game, six rebounds, three assists, uh, six steals a game. I mean, yeah. she's a player. Um, so somehow we're going to have to we're gonna slow her down. Yeah. Um, so, and they've had some really good wins. They've played in, I believe they've played in a, a little tournament already. Um, yeah, I think they did with South earlier Ridge in the and, year. Yeah. But anyway, they've got, you know, that they're a good, strong team. Um, I feel like, but I do feel, and this is the one thing I talked to the girls actually after the Christian Academy game is girls were on the brink that if we can, if we can play with Lanesville and, and you know, get this West Washington toughness in our grip right. that I want them to have. Um, I said, we're just, we're just right there girls of, of where we want to be. You know, we got to, we got to stop just winning the games we're supposed to win. We've got to win those games that people don't expect us to win yet. And we got to, we got to, and I, you know, I, they're going to come to our place. The girls like playing here. Right. Absolutely. And, and uh, hopefully we'll have, like we said, a good crowd here to back uh, the girls up on Saturday night. And that would be a huge win uh, for your program moving forward. But also a team you, you may have to play down the road as right. well. You're in a yeah. tough sectional there in 1A. Probably, if not the toughest, one of the toughest for I sure. I would say, did you, uh, Borden is now Yes, second. Borden. So, yeah. we've so got you got like, two top yeah. teams and then, you know, the rest of the teams are pretty good in right. there as well. So. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting uh, way down the road, but, uh, you know, one at a time. Right, right. And, and I know that's what you're working on with Lanesville coming up here on Saturday night. Yes, we are, um, you know, we're, we've got two nights here to um, get ready, get ready and, yeah. and we've got some things we want to work on in there. You know, it's early and, and we know we have a lot of things to work on. There's some things on defense that, you know, I still – makes me cringe and I can't get them to understand certain things but we're getting there I mean I, I try to look back you know where we were this time last year and the, you know I'm so happy with their growth and just um, like I said there's a different feel with these girls yeah um, you know they come in a gym and they're down here shooting and and putting free throws up and shooting before I ever get in the gym every night and and I think they they're learning their their they're getting that taste of winning yes. um, and yep. it's fun. And I told the girls, what other thing can you do? You know, you're in high school sports. I know other, uh, other sports, football, whatever. Yes. Yep. But I said, all, I said, look at the crowd out there, girls. They're yep. all here for each and every, every one of you. Yep. And I said, just go out there, have fun, play hard. Um, and let's, you know, we want to do it together. And, yep. and that's one thing I, the one thing I was really proud of the girls too, sharing the ball yesterday. Yes, in they that did. second half, I thought, you know, beautiful. I mean, yeah. some of those in, uh, passes down on the break and the interior passing, I thought they did a great job. Yeah, I felt like they're, you know, from the difference from last year, the games that I was able to watch, that they were just a lot more confident with the basketball. Right. On the offensive end, it just seemed like the cuts were sharper, right. the passes were better. Um, you know, last year at times we'd get a little lackadaisical right. with the ball and sometimes have a little trouble with that. but. Last night, I felt like they were very confident with it. Seemed like they knew what they were doing, right. knew where they needed to be, and yeah, it, it doesn't work out every time. But but for the most part, um, it, it looked like they really were into what they were doing yeah. and done a very good job in, in running the offense. I, that's one thing we've really really worked is fundamentals. Yeah, um, you know, I felt like you know telling on ourselves from last year, but. We were um, getting ready to go into the boarding game, yeah. and we were struggling with getting a pass around a player. And we were in sectional week, and we were working on step around passes. And I said, "Girls, we shouldn't be doing this yeah, in sectional." It's too but late. Yeah. we worked really hard on fundamentals. We worked in in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, and we still do our fundamentals every single night. Right. Um, and I think you know, and they 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 understand that that's important. And they you could tell it. it by the way that they played, that that's something that they had worked on from the difference from last year and what I seen and what I saw last night. And, you know, you'll need that kind of effort coming up down the stretch here. Got some big games. 
Got that game Saturday night. Don't want to look too far ahead, but then you got a big game back here at home yeah. against Salem, a county rival uh, game. I noticed they had some uh, coaches in the house last yeah. night that were kind of watching uh, watching the game, scouting a little bit. Yeah. But uh, you know, and that's a big one for the girls. Uh, Thanksgiving week, you got the, the the girls on Tuesday night, boys on Wednesday. So it kind of gets the entire basketball uh, season going here at West Washington and. Uh, you know, just a great job from your girls, and I really enjoyed watching them play last night. Yeah, no, that was I, – I appreciate that. They they really – actually, we went to the Orleans-Salem game. Right. My, my coaching staff did, and I was sitting there, and I look over, and there's four of my players down there watching the game too. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. They yeah. are really – They're into they it. They are into yeah. it. They are – I'm really proud of them. And, um, and I know I've said this before, but I'm blessed. I mean, I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be coaching this team. And, um, I can't say enough for West Washington, the players, the staff here, everybody. I mean, it's it's been great. Well, it's a family atmosphere, you know, and uh, and I've noticed that the last couple of years since we've been here, it's just a it's a little different vibe here. You know, it seems like everybody's into every kid, right? Not just their right. kid, right? So that that's the thing that I really see here, and I think that helps to build great teams, and 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 the kids just really feed off that. And we've seen that so far, so. Yeah. You know, good luck to you well, on Saturday that. night. We appreciate what you've done and coming in. It's just glad to have you here at West Washington, and uh, hopefully big things to come for this girls' program. I hope so. I hope yeah. so. <laughs> it's just, a, just tough to be in that meat grinder, but, uh, yeah. you know, you know, you got to play the best teams right. if you want to be the best That's team. That's right. So, yeah, we uh, – yeah. We, it's one of those things that just uh, you can't control that. You're in, in a tough one, but, uh, you know, I think the girls are ready for it. And, uh, I know uh, coming up down the stretch some big games for you. Yes, I yeah. appreciate it, and we love your support. Well, Thank you very much. We, we appreciate you being here tonight. We'll talk to you more, hopefully, in the weeks to come okay. about uh, Lady Senator basketball. And uh, uh, get everybody out of here. We need everybody yes. we can get in here Saturday yes, night. Yes, we do. We need Because we, we want to pack the house here to get a crowd in and support these girls because they put a lot of time and effort into it. I know your staff does as well. Before we go off, I want you to mention your staff because you got a great staff here. I, I've got an amazing staff. Yeah. Um, my JV coach is actually my preacher, uh, Mike Lewis. Oh, okay. So I brought my preacher with yeah. me. Yeah, well, it's and, good to have a preacher. Yeah, it's on always the good to have. Hey, I got two brothers that are preachers, so I yeah. know what you're saying. I need yeah. all the support we call I can get. We, we call him Preacher Mike. He, yeah. he tells the girls to, he said, get that rebound, rip their head off, and then you look at him and say, <laughs> and then, we'll then, you, then you pray for him. Yeah. Um, and then I have Amy Pride. Uh, yes. Her daughter actually was on the BNL Team yes. One State last year. Uh, then I have my daughter, Mackenzie. Yes. Who, um, Played on successful BNL teams, played at Hanover, and then um, Darren Russell's daughter Ryan, right. who has some records around yeah, here. Yeah, so. she played. She was a great player here at West right. Washington. But too. we have a great. I love my. I mean, I've got. I think I've got the mix of the old, the young. Right. You know, some of. Yeah, them, you, you know. do a little bit. It's it's a very versatile staff, yeah. which you know, that that helps too right. when you've got a bunch of young kids that you're coaching and right. to have that support, that means a lot. And well, I'm and sure I tell you what, the one you. thing with my staff, we all know that. 100% we have each other's backs, right. and we're all on the same page and all on the same uh, philosophy of basketball. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's great. Well, and you're used to winning. You've come from that program. BNL's had an excellent girls program for, for years, and it seems like they continue to have one. Got another good team this year. Yeah. I've been watching them yeah, a little bit, a good job. and they are doing a great job. So, so hopefully that builds here, and I think you're well on your way to doing that. I hope I hope you're right. Well, thank you <laughs> thank so you. much for coming All in. Right. We appreciate it. We'll let you get out of here. You got a long drive home. Yeah, that's okay. Thank All you. All right, thanks, Coach. <laughs> All right, Coach Messmore joins us here on our first evening for Senator Sports Talk. We're going to take just a minute here and pay some bills. Here, a word from some of our sponsors, and we'll be back here with uh, uh, head boys basketball coach Jamie Cummings in the next few minutes. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. 
We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions, big and small, to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Some see a student athlete working on a shot. We see a powerful lesson in persistence. Some see a student preparing for success on an exam. We see a student athlete preparing for success in life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. program here. We, we get to talk to our coaches right here in the friendly uh, confines of uh, Dr. Kermit Tower Gymnasium here on the Ron Smith uh, court. It's empty tonight, but uh, about to get real, real busy with basketball season. We've seen it last night. The girls played their home opener here last night. Got a big win over Christian Academy. Got the boys coming up here on next Wednesday night, that uh, annual Turkey Eve Classic, I call it, uh, between Salem and West Washington. It's been a, a game that everybody looks forward to. A lot of people in town for the holidays on that weekend. So just a, a great night of basketball, and we'll have that coming up here. Joining me now on the uh, broadcast here this evening is uh, Senator Boyd's basketball coach, Jamie Cummings. Jamie, also a new coach, and from the uh, Fayetteville connection we've got going on here at West Washington is Coach Messmore and Coach Cummings grew up not too far from each other there in Fayetteville. So I think Coach Messmore said about a mile apart. Maybe. So, yeah, maybe closer than that. You can't be too far in Fayetteville. It's not that no. big. So no. you got to know your neighbors there. And uh, great to have you guys here at West Washington. We're so excited uh, for both the girls and the boys here and, uh, and what we do. And uh, Coach Cummings coming in and inheriting uh, yeah, a pretty decent basketball team coming back from last year. Uh, you got, uh, what, four seniors uh, back on that team that uh, played a lot of minutes. So looking forward to the season coming up here next Wednesday night in that home opener against Southern. Yeah, really, really excited. We've got four seniors, and we did return a lot from last season. Uh, we got to mesh and, and find some other pieces to fit in there and blend. And I get some of these younger guys understanding what it means to play varsity basketball. And, uh, that's a good pass. Uh, in middle school, is not a good pass. At the varsity level against the speed and length that they're going to see. So, anxious to see how we play against uh, somebody beside yourself. Right? right. Yeah, and I know the kids are probably excited coming up here. You got a scrimmage tomorrow night over at Orleans uh, in a, a 1A program that you're very, uh, you know, knowledgeable about because you helped coach there at Orleans. That's where you come from. So. Uh, Coach Bradley, a good uh, mentor for you, I'm sure, coming in. And he just really does things well over there uh, at Orleans. So that'll be a good tune-up for you guys to kind of let you know what you're looking at. And like you said, to get tired of playing against each other. Plus, your numbers have been a little down. You lost some kids from uh, injury from uh, prior sports in the fall. So 
got three or four there, especially the younger ones that uh, aren't able to play right now. But uh, tell us a little bit about your team uh, coming into the scrimmage tomorrow night and the home opener coming up here on Wednesday. Well, I think they're all excited. I think uh, they're not, something wrong. Yeah. But uh, I do think they're excited, anxious to get after it and see what's going on. I, I, I'm anxious to see how we play. We need to be able to play fast. We need to be able to play slow. We'd love to dictate tempo um, each and every night, but that just won't always be the case. Uh, tomorrow night, out of Orleans, one of the best coaches in, in the end. Yeah, no I'm doubt. Um, Tom does a great job. Coach Bradley over there. You know, those guys, he's got a ton of kids coming back from a really good team last year. I told our guys tonight before we left, they're going to be, they're going to, they're going to look like they've been playing ball for all season. It's going to yeah. look like March basketball for them. And, and we're not. They've been running this stuff for three, four, five years, some of them, and we've been running it for a couple of weeks. Right. Our stuff. So it's all new to them. Our calls are different. Uh, all defense and offense is a brand new thing. So right now we're, we're learning. Whether we're freshmen or senior, that's, that's all new. Even, even our coaching staff, it's new to them. Um, these are calls I brought with me, and everybody's adjusting and they're picking it up. We're going to mess up, and that's okay. We know that's okay. We've got to learn from our mistakes. We need to get better. And you know, we, we want to be trending, not not the same place we are now in March. We want to be getting better each and every day. So that, that's our goal. And our, our focus is just to get better and to, to learn from our mistakes. And, you know, I, I don't think we've got a lot of debt. Uh, yeah. Our numbers are down. We've got some injuries. We've got some guys that decided not to play. And uh, we got to figure out again. I'm talking about these young guys. Want them right out there to the rules, basically. And, uh, we want to make some mistakes. Yeah. Just, just on inexperience, we want to make some mistakes on it's new. I was running this, should have been running that. Yeah. Um, so I got to live with some of that, but I'm not going to live with it you know, all season. Right. You hope to fix it as time goes on, and we hope we, we learn from it and move on. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about your team. You've got Ian Rosenbaum, Titan Williams, uh, Kent Chase coming back along with, um, I'm forgetting, Jackson, Jackson. Cameron. Yeah, Jackson Cameron coming back. And those kids, those four were kind of the nucleus of that team last year coming back in. Uh, you know, I know he, Ian last year was hurt uh, in the beginning part of the year, but, you know, hopefully he's healthy coming back here. And those four seniors, you know, how much are you going to rely on them to help you uh, get the kids where they need to be and, and also help themselves get to the point to where you can win basketball games. I couldn't depend <laughs> on them each and every night on and off the court right. to, to teach these other guys how to play, how to be a young man on and off the court and to just do some of the things the right way that we want to do that we talk about that we try and stress in and out of the classroom and on and off the court. Uh, Ian and Kenton are captains. Uh, big things, a lot of pressure on their shoulders. Uh, right. I've told them that I expect a lot. Sometimes it may be the other guys messing up, but I'm, I may not get after them as much as I get after you if you're right. trying to address some of them. We're going to try and do things the right way. And again, that's both on and off the court. And those guys are, are our leaders. You know? right. uh, we're going to follow you. We're yeah, gonna, We're going to ride them as far as they'll take us, really. So it, it kind of falls on to them, especially early on, you know, because they Absolutely. have played the minutes. They're used to varsity basketball. And as you mentioned, you know, it's a lot different for a younger kid coming in and been playing varsity basketball maybe for the first time from being uh, in middle school or, or even at the freshman level. So, you know, those those four are going to be a big part, I'm sure, of, of what you're able to do uh, moving forward with the season getting underway. There's no question about it. We're going to ride them and we're going to try and uh, get the other guys to that good spot here with three or four other guys. Right. I know we mentioned the Orleans scrimmage tomorrow night, but then you've got Salem coming up here on uh, that that Turkey Eve uh, Classic here at uh, Ron Smith Court. So um, I know Salem also with a new head coach, uh, Jalen Nice, a young youngster that played there and is coming in. He was a Purdue assistant for the Purdue women. So, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to uh, see both teams with two new coaches, two different looks maybe from what they've had in the past. And, uh, you know, that just should be a great game here. I, I think it's really 
shaping up to be a good one here to uh, kick off the uh, basketball season? Well, I, I got a lot of emotion on that <laughs> one. I, you know, tomorrow's going to be something, but yeah. it, it, it doesn't count, right? Right. Uh, home opener, first time here for me. Uh, that's a big deal. I know Salem's a big deal for these kids. It they, is. They all know each other. Um, so, you know, they've played against each other. I can't tell you how many for times. For years, yeah. Right, for from, years. From day one, playing basketball, you played against these guys. So, so they know each other. And Coach and I really don't. So, yeah. Uh, that's where it's kind of unique. Like, you know, <laughs> what, what are they going to run? Are they going to play the same way they played in the past? Is he going to, you know, at what level is he going to enforce his, exactly. uh, his style? Um, I'm a fan of. Of one style, I want to play this way. But if you're personnel in high school, we don't get a recruit. I don't know if anybody knows. Yeah, that. you don't we have get that what we get. Well, right some side, schools don't get well, a recruit. Some, some, some get Our school recruit. doesn't get to recruit. No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but you, you kind of got to adjust to your guys. Um, so we're trying to do that, and I, I want to play a little faster maybe right. than, than some of us want to. But figuring out, you know, you can and he can, he can type of thing, and what lineups can and. Can we play zone? Can we play man to man? Can we rebound out of the zone? Yeah. We're, we're There's learning. a lot of unknowns. We're learning. Yes. Yeah. A lot to learn. And it'll be interesting to see the kids as they develop and, and get used to your style, how they can adapt to that moving forward. I know Coach Messmore and I talked about that, how different it was. Last year was her first year here, and so she inherited a, a new team that she probably didn't know a ton about coming in. But, uh, you know, that you can tell the difference from where they were a year ago to where they were like last night. And was, last night was the first time I got to watch the girls. Uh, but uh, I really felt like, you know, a lot of the things that they struggled with last year, they had really improved on. And, uh, and I know that's, that's something tough coming in, starting out the first, you know, season. It, it, it's a little tough to get the kids to feed into what you're trying to sell them. And, uh, you know, once they do that, then things usually go pretty well, but that, that takes some time. Yep, that, that's, that's leadership. That's leadership from me, from the staff, and then the seniors. I expect them to buy in, and then those other guys, we all got to be in the same direction. We're just, right. We're not going to go Well, anywhere. you're spinning your wheels that's if exactly you're not. Right. Yeah. That's exactly right. So, you know, we're talking about the right things, we hope, and, and just getting guys on board, encouraging them. It's okay to mess up. Yes. And we understand that. We're trying. Effort's got to be there every night. You control that. You control your attitude and, and control your trust. Be a trustworthy team. Yep. Not everybody's going to be a great player, but we can all be a great team. That's, that's true. So that's that's what we want to do here. And that goes a long way. On and off the court. We want to have it right. Yeah, absolutely. And your background, uh, let's talk a little bit about that. I know it's not about you, and, and I don't want to make it all about you, but your background, basketball background, come from Bedford, played on those teams, played for Dan Bush. Uh, played with Damon Bailey, so you've been around some really good and, and yeah. talented coaches. Also, we talked Coach Bradley. You, you, you mentored under him for a while, and, uh, you know. So your background is a basketball background that's that's pretty storied with some of those great teams they had at Bedford, and I know that's a style that you want to bring in here to West Washington. Yeah, I mean that would be that would be it. I would love to play full court man to man and get the ball to our best player every chance. Right. Just a matter of whether you can do that or not. Yeah. Sometimes, like yeah. you said, yeah. and can we handle the ball? You know, some of the teams I played on, we, we finished the game twice with one turnover, and several times we lost three. Yeah. Can we take care of the ball? We yeah. settled for a bad shot. We understand what a good shot. Is. Um, it starts with me. I know that. And I'm trying to teach those things, and, and I got to be willing to learn from the guys. Right? Again, we can't improve. We got what we got. We played this way. So you can't make. I can't make a switch just to fight. I wish I could. Yeah. It ain't that easy. It's not that it's easy. It's a transition, and we got to be willing to bend a little bit and just not break. Yeah. Yeah. You, and like I said, I think you've got some kids that are that are going to be capable of doing that. That's no true. doubt. They, uh, they 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 played some some varsity ball, and they know what to expect. And you know, just feeding into what you're uh, what you're trying to put out there on the court is going to be huge. And it's good when you've got. A group coming back that that can help with that. You know, it'd be different if you were inheriting a, a team with maybe no seniors, and, and that makes it a little makes your job maybe a little bit easier. But still, it's you know it's a it's a totally different animal when you bring in 
a new style, a new coach, and, and you know the kids are going to have to buy into that, and uh, hopefully that's what we'll see coming up here starting tomorrow night. I don't think we can get too high or too low, but it's going to be a little bit of a roller coaster. Right. You have good days, and you see it so and so. I could name every one of them. Today they look really good. Tomorrow they look really good, and then all of a sudden they just don't look so good. Yeah. What changed? I, I don't know. <laughs> you know. Maybe they got just their heads kind of swimming with all these new terms. You know, get a couple of weeks before we start. We, we provided them with a lot of information. We don't have near what we're going to have in right. as far as sets and stuff, calls. But uh, we're trying to not push too hard. But I'm pushing pretty hard, hoping to do a little homework and just start to set in. And, Terms and it's, it's new to the coaches as well. Yeah, they absolutely. Don't, they don't know it. Not, and I'm racking down trying to get everybody on the same page. Yeah, and that's something you led me into my next uh, question for you is tell us a little bit about your staff that's helping you this season here at West Washington. Well, uh, two of them were here last year uh, Tom Rosenbaum and Coach Matthews. Right. Uh, and I've got Josh Halton with me, sort of from Baker, I'll say. From he's moved and done some different things. But, right. Uh, he's he's a great addition. I think they're all been great. I think we uh, have been trying to just be patient with the guys. I think they're doing a great job. Uh, you know, I, I expect great things from from myself, from my team, from my staff. Yeah. Um, we're all going to do a little more than we want to, maybe. But I, I believe in pushing yourself to where you're a little bit uncomfortable. Figure that out and get comfortable. Yeah. So I, I want to do that. I want to challenge these guys to just. Continue to push each other, push me, question me. It's okay. You know, I don't want to knock down, drag out out here on the court. But when <laughs> we're behind those walls up there, we can we can hash it out and figure some right. things out. What's right, what works, what doesn't. I want them free to speak uh, their mind. I want them to coach, not be a puppet. Yeah. Um, and I think they're doing that right now. So right. I'm excited. So how many kids do you have right now on your on your team? Eighteen that are on the team. Fourteen. Maybe 13 Teams. that aren't hurt. Yeah, one, I know that's one been a problem. left tonight with uh, uh -oh. a question mark there. So 13 or 14 healthy guys, and you know, we're looking to get a couple of them back um, December possibly, and then some others January maybe. Uh, one's indefinite. Uh, just kind of wait to see what the doctors tell us. Yeah, about. and that makes it tough, you know, coming in. It, you know, to have kids hurt, but you've got also got a, a group of younger bucks coming in that uh, have had some success at the at the junior high level. That uh, freshman class has, has had a lot of success. That bunch coming in, so you know, I know there's a lot to be excited about. You know, moving forward, and uh, you know, I'm really excited for the season. Looking forward to uh, watching the, the boys here coming up. Uh, you know, tomorrow night, as we mentioned, and also Wednesday night uh, here at home against Salem to open up the season here in 23-24 uh, uh, basketball season. So I know uh, I know it's a work in progress for you, and I know you're putting your heart and soul into it. We were able to talk back when you took the head uh, position, and uh, it's just been great getting to know you, and I look so forward to watching uh, what you put out here on the floor coming up here in the next few weeks. I appreciate it. Yeah. I hope we don't disappoint. I hope the place is full and we can you know, please everybody, but we won't win them all. Yeah. Probably not, but we're sure. We're You're sure going to try, try right? Try. That's that's the goal going in. But, uh, yeah, well, I think the place will be full. That game is always always a good one to start out on, just just for the kids, too. And as you mentioned, the kids know each other. It's, it's a good opening game for both teams. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a great night of basketball and should be a lot of people – in town for that Thanksgiving holiday, so we look forward to that. So, I guess my next point, we'll let you get out of here. I know you got a little bit of a drive back home yeah. to uh, Fayetteville there, but uh, still living out there, I guess. No, I, no? I actually am not. I, You're not? No, I've, I've got a Bedford address. Oh, okay. Fayetteville is a Bedford address, too. Yeah, it's it's unique, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, just south of the river there. Okay. The so, what, 40 minutes? Uh, 35? It's maybe? about 35. Yeah. On a good day <laughs> with no it's deer. No deer. <laughs> Got to stay away from them. I seen a couple They're on the way everybody. out here earlier. You hunters get busy. Yeah, you hunters, you need to get be ready. busy this weekend, as a matter of fact. So Saturday morning. Go get your deer and then come out here Wednesday night. 
and brag about your deer and watch a little boys basketball right. here at, uh, at West Washington as we look forward to it. Well, Coach, it's all the time we've got tonight. Good luck to you in the, in the season here. We'll talk more coming up down the road here and get maybe some of the kids in as well. And we just uh, want to give them that exposure and also put this out to our fan base, you know, so that they know a little more about what's going on. And, and I think it's a good thing that uh, we're able to do that here. And, you know, they've got a great program here. I was so fortunate to uh, become a part of that a couple of years back when my kids started coming out here to school. And, uh, you know, it's uh, this program, we try to try to do what we can to support the kids. And that's what it's all about. That's exactly right. Yep. Exactly right. Well, good luck to you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. And we'll be talking more coming up. And uh, we'll, uh, don't forget, tomorrow night, Scrimmage at Orleans, what time? Starts at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Yep. So will that be both uh, JV and varsity? I believe it'll be four varsity quarters and one JV. One JV and, and four varsity. Yeah, probably, he probably don't maybe have enough players to get uh, a full four in for both, maybe. Uh, five quarters so they can Walk and wounded. <laughs> so we'll get, uh, we'll, we'll get a little bit more about that uh, coming up in the weeks, uh, coming up here in the basketball season. So uh, good luck. And, Congratulations again! Welcome to West Washington, and, and I know uh, I know you're gonna gonna make us proud here coming up. Yes, we, we we're looking forward to it. So thank you, thank Coach. You. Yep. All right. So uh, our first uh, Salem or Salem here. See, I'm going back to my roots. Senator Sports Talk uh, here as we'll continue throughout the season, uh, talking more with uh, Coach Messmore from the Lady Senators and also Coach Cummings here for the varsity uh, boys coming up uh, down the road here. But I uh, want to remind you our upcoming events here, a big game uh, tomorrow night for the boys uh, in their scrimmage over at Orleans starting at 6 o'clock as Coach Cummings uh, uh, told us. And uh, so get out there and support the, uh, the boys. And then Saturday night back here at home, the girls play Lanesville, the number one team in Class 1A and uh, also a sectional opponent for the Lady Senators uh, here on Saturday night. And then next Wednesday night, we won't have our show, but we will have the boys' varsity game here. It'll be on West Washington live stream and also on WWSR. So you can uh, download that app if you want to watch this show. You can watch it through the IHSAA network and also on West Washington live stream as we'll be playing that throughout the season. And then. Uh, all the games will be here. Uh, Ryan Bat uh, doing the girls' games for us here on the live stream and the and the radio, and then I'll be uh, with Coach Akers uh, doing the call of the boys' game. So uh, we'll be here on next Wednesday night to open up the season here against Salem in that uh, Turkey Eve Classic right here at West Washington High School. So that's all the time we've got tonight. We want to thank our sponsors here. We'll have more of that to come. We've got some special things uh, in line that we're trying to put in play for this program. So we'll continue to build on that and uh, just make this the best program we can make it and put it out there for all the fans here of West Washington uh, Senator Sports. So we want to thank you for joining us here on Senator Sports Talk. For Craig Akers, the professor back here in the studio, this is Mark Bubba Abbott. We say God bless you, and we'll send it back over to the studio.